Hey everyone, welcome back to another amazing After Effects tutorial. Today we are going to create this custom liquid glitch text animation from scratch. So make sure to watch till the end because you will learn lots of useful tips and tricks. Before we start, do not forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Now, let's get started. Open After Effects and make a new composition. Let's call it text holder and set its size to a 16 by 9 ratio. Then press OK. Now select the text tool and write your desired text. I will write liquid motion for now. And I am using this font. Center align the text. After this, add the gradient ramp effect on it. Change its ramp shape to radial ramp and swap the colors. Then adjust the gradient points like this. Next, select the ellipse tool by pressing double Q on your keyboard. Set its fill color to black and stroke to zero. Now double click on the circle tool to make a circle. Go under its property and set its size to 1080 by 1080. Now make a keyframe on its scale at two seconds. and set its scale value to zero at one second. Then easy ease this keyframe. Now apply Fastbox Blur on this shape layer and set the blur amount to around 80. And then add solid composite on it. Turn off the visibility of the shape layer. Next, make a new adjustment layer and add the colorama effect on it. Go under the output cycle option and select solarize gray from user presets. Set the black color point to a light blue color and the white color point to a dark navy blue. Now apply camera lens blur on it. Set the blur radius to 30. And select the blur map to the shape layer. Then uncheck the repeat edge pixel option. Make a new solid layer. Call it liquid. And apply fractal noise on it. Set its contrast to 450 and brightness to minus 100. Now write an expression on evolution. Time multiply 500. Then apply the tint effect on it. Change its white color to light blue. Click on the Preserve Transparency option and change its blending mode to screen. I think the blue color should be lighter. Now let's make a new composition call it main comp drag and drop the text holder comp onto it make a new solid layer call it noise map apply fractal noise on it change its fractal type to dynamic set contrast to 550 brightness to minus 130 now go under Transform, change its scale value to 1300, and complexity to 3.5. Make a keyframe on evolution at the end, and change it to 360 degrees. We will get something like this. Now turn off its visibility. 
Now apply Mr. Mercury on the text holder layer. Change its X and Y radius to 250. And velocity to 0 0.4. Change blob death size to 2. And birth size to 5. Then make a keyframe on it at 1 second. Go to 2 seconds and set its size to 6.5. Now apply Compound Blur on it. Select the Blur layer to Noise Map, Source Effects and Masks. Set the Blur Amount to 50. Now apply Turbulent Displace Effect. Set its amount to 230 and make a keyframe on it at the beginning of the layer. Then go around 20 frames ahead and set its amount to zero. Now the main part, make a keyframe on the scale and position of this text layer at one second. Go to the beginning of the layer, set its scale value to 350, and change its position slightly to the left. Easy ease this keyframe by pressing F9 and adjust the graph like this. Now select the position keyframe and using the pen tool, Adjust the keyframe handle like this. Next, make a new adjustment layer. Apply glow on it. Set the threshold around 80%, radius around 60, and reduce its intensity. Now apply noise on it. Set its amount around 10, then apply unsharp mask and set its value to 200. Now the edges of the text look a bit sharp. To fix that, apply directional blur on it. Make a keyframe on its length at the beginning and set its length value to 30. Select all layers and pre-compose them by pressing Ctrl plus Shift plus C. Make a new solid layer, call it background. Now select the pre-comp layer, make a keyframe on its scale at the beginning. Then go to the end of the animation and set its scale value to 85. Easy ease this keyframe and adjust the graph like this. Now apply posterized time effect on it. Set the frame rate to 15, then apply wiggle position effect on it. Set its speed to 25 and amount to 2. I have this lighting transition video. I will use it to make the animation more appealing. You will get this transition video in the project file. Change its blending mode to screen and apply tint on it. Set its white value to light blue.
adjust its position and opacity like this. This animation is fully customizable. Just change the text in the text holder comp and the animation will update automatically. And this is our final animation. You can also customize the color and the text according to your needs. If you enjoyed this video, consider liking and subscribing. It really helps and ensures you will not miss future tutorials. You can access this project file and many others by becoming a member on my Kofi page. The link is in the description. See you in the next tutorial.